everyone? Hey, how's it going? Guys, there's aliens. Everywhere. Real aliens. They're out there. Guys, the truth is out there. Now, this isn't a joke. This I is, want to believe. This is like a real UFO sighting. Uh, well, Kiwis are seeing aliens. And this isn't the first time because there's a history of that big, big event back in the 70s. They saw like pilots saw mm -hmm. this big ball. 21 pilots saw it. 21 pilots saw a ball. There were a lot of people on board that saw it. It's mm -hmm. kind of crazy. But this is, um, somebody posted, now this is Reddit, so what are you going to do? Because anyone could just, like, make up a story. It. You have to take this with a grain of salt because anyone can make up a story, yeah, on Reddit. And they don't have any photos. Now, in this day No age, evidence? With modern technology, we have phones, we have camera phones. Now, this is some of the arguments people are going to make. That hey, we have camera phones. Why don't you pull up your ca camera phone? The argument is, well, my camera phone is really not that high quality. It's going to look like dust, which I understand. But still, have something. But they're saying, what's the point of putting it on there? People are just going to say it's fake anyways. Well, it's even more fake if you don't have anything. It all seems fake to me. There's a lot of stuff in the sky. So this is what the Reddit user called UFO Mystery 123 posted. And this, this actually made a lot of... Headlines that made a bunch of news stories in New Zealand. But here goes. Last Sunday, on March 31st, around 12 a.m., I had the craziest experience. A car, a car, a beat. I'm here looking for answers, but also to see if anyone else has seen these strange lights in the sky. We were on the beach. My boyfriend and I saw two bright orange slash red lights far on the other end of the beach. Was it a bright burn? I pointed them out and said that they might be helicopters. Mm. Looking for someone, in a matter of seconds, one of the lights started moving at full speed. This is an X-File. In a straight line, no more than 200 meters above the water until directly in front of us. The UFO had changed from having a red to a bright white light, somewhat like a torch shining directly at us. So we presumed that it was a helicopter with a spotlight, but there was no sound at all coming from it. And it was so steady and barely moving, it stayed like that and followed us every so slightly. It's no, a stealth copter. said every so slightly. Ever so slightly. Every so slightly. Every so slightly. As we placed a few meters forward and back to see if it would follow. It follows. After about two minutes, or what I think, we could not tell time at this point. Did they lose time? They had a time loss. Oh my god, they lost yeah. two minutes! They lost their watches. They lost two... Who the heck has a watch anymore? Exactly. How would they know? We could not tell time. Why? It moved away very Those quickly, flying incredibly fast with the perfect precision until disappearing behind the mountain. The same thing happened when the next red light, which was on the other side of the beach, it moved as the other UFO had until directly in front of us again with this bright light and soon followed in the same direction as the first. In total, we experienced this happen with three others before they all disappeared for a while. We were lying down looking at the stars for a while and then stood up to leave before realizing there were five surrounding us in different areas on the beach. You know what, what it is? It's the alien tour. And these two like hipsters who post on Reddit are on the tour. So Hippies? Like, yeah. Hipsters? No, hipsters. Yeah. Hipsters? Hipsters like Reddit. One of them was flying up and down, another from side to side. The others were just still switching between red and white spotlights. No sound. This was when we decided to leave. Scared shitless. We drove back to Toronto. Tur to Toronji? To Toronji? To Tiranji? Oh, that's where we saw all the ships. So, like, north of where we went to the beach, I think. Yeah, the beach is over there. I don't yeah. even know how to say it right, though. Did I say it? To Tiranji. To Tiranji? That's not, it's not Italian. Tiranji. So we went back to Tiranji. I apologize if I said it wrong. I have been there, though, so I'm sorry. We drove by. We drove through it. Yeah. About 30 minutes from the beach up to look up spot with a great view of the city. At the top, I noticed a red light completely still in the sky. I remember saying to my boyfriend that it couldn't be one of those things. We got out of the car, and the light again shifted from being red to white. Spotlight. Sort of light. This time, so bright, it was looking directly at the lights from a car in front of you. But much brighter. But we could barely look at it. No sound coming from it. It then flew off. This time, like a plane, very fast in the sky and shaped like a triangle with three lights. One white light, red, and other white, maybe blue. Maybe it's an ARV. Maybe. 
I don't know if these were military crafts. I've considered the fact that they were drones, but it doesn't make sense how many there were. And the fact that we saw one so far from the beach where we were at. Has anyone heard of UFOs similar to this or seen any around New Zealand? I think you got a couple teenagers around the corner going, hee So yeah, I remember people talking about the lights in the 1970s, the Auckland area. Someone said they had a similar experience Karakara Beach. It was January 15th, 2013. A former girlfriend and I were there late stargazing when we noticed bright light hovering close to a cliff face. At first we tried to rationalize it begin to move in such a way that it couldn't be explained. The light dimmed and I noticed that there were three lights fixed equidistant from each other. It began moving away from the cliff face and it was darting very si quickly and silently. This whole post sounds like bad It fanfic. continued darting and hovering for some time until it got bright and suddenly went dark. Someone says, okay, so there's a few things. 1987, very similar experiences. I think it's actually Chris Carter undercover. Writing. I think Chris Carter wants to he have Reddit. a new X-File series or reboot, so yeah. he's decided to do make some lights happen or maybe he just right so okay so this actually got police called out red lights off of the north otago coast remains a mystery so a mysterious red light in the sky initially thought to be a flare from a stricken vessel spurred a fruitless search off of north otago coast last night the search was abandoned after three boats police officers from dunedin and omaru and the volunteer firefighters failed to find anything in the water on the coast or any abandoned boat trailers near launching ramps. The Kiwis had a fruitless search. Sergeant Tony Woodbridge of Omaro said police received a report from Kakaniu. I'm so bad at all these Maori names. I just like, I, I feel like Omaru. I'm gonna, I remember we had Kaka we Nui. classed all these places when we were in New Zealand and I'm very upset that we went there and we went there to see a f***ing David Duchovny concert. No aliens came. Mm -hmm. We went there to see a David concert. So you had all these X-Files fans ready to see you aliens and you show up and we're not even there. So they saw a resident who saw what they thought was a red flare off the coast, right? Between Kakanyu mm -hmm. and Moraki, the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Though the investigation, we've had another residence who was out. You do Kakanyu in the morning. Every morning. Who was out walking and someone from Hampton Beach, not Hamptons, who have both seen a bright orange red light in the sky about the same time. Two boats also joined the search. I'm gonna just start omitting these names because I don't know how to pronounce the towns. We got no reports of anyone missing, so it's a bit of a mystery what was seen, but we've been out and had a good look. Yeah, so this, this cops actually went to investigate. This isn't too far from where this incident happened. The flash of light you saw in the sky was not a UFO. Swamp gas from a weather balloon was trapped in the thermal pocket reflected light from Venus. I think it was swamp ass. Have you had any flashbacks that involve things being inserted into your anus? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Flashback Alien about sex. your backside? Alien sex. Mm. Guys, I don't know what to think about all this, but it's kind of funny that the cops were called and it is a little weird that people reported this and it was multiple people. Now, this story might be something completely separate because these people have nothing to do with the other story. Mm-hmm with the newer story that just happened a few days ago. Mm -hmm. well, how do we explain this? I mean, nobody's missing, so they're not too worried, but they thought that maybe there were flares because they look like flares. Mm -hmm. Like maybe whoever set the flares off just disappeared. It was Rick Flair. Like maybe there was someone out there. Uh huh. There had to be a reason for these lights. Maybe they got eaten by sharks. They would have found something. There were range. reasons for the lights they had drugs no they had a lot of people and the cops came how many people saw the lights there were three boats and there were several people that called the cops so it wasn't like people saw boats and they just assumed they saw the lights and they thought they were flares Is oh it? no and through the investigation we've had another resident who was out walking someone who has seen a bright orange light in the sky you have to explain that somehow there has to be a scientific coincidence explanation there has to be a coincidence. A plane flew on the over same and night. reflected over the ocean. Maybe, but Shooting it star. looked like flares. 
problems. Like, they thought that a boat was stranded. That's why they called the police. They weren't looking for UFOs. They thought, oh, well, if someone's out there and needs help. Some could have shot off a flare gun just to fuck around. It's possible it's a drone. It's hard to... Drones, although I don't know, there's certain areas yeah. where you're not allowed to dry, fly drones, so I don't know what the drone laws are. Well, I think the problem is it, it's very hard to judge distance. You don't know exactly where it is. And we don't have any photos. Right. Many humans misread very normal things as paranormal. And that's not to say that there's nothing paranormal. I believe they saw something. Like the phone, they're saying the phone wouldn't capture anything significant. I believe they saw something. I believe most times people hear something, but all those orbs... Debunked. Every time there's an orb in a video, it's a freaking piece of dust, dust. reflecting light. All right, guys. Well, uh, I just wanted to get your feedback. I want you to tell me what you think it is. They're from the planet Big Tapas. Because I think it's aliens. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's totally aliens. Mm -hmm. They're aliens, and they're coming to New Zealand because they know nobody goes there because it's too long of a flight. Well, I wouldn't blame them as aliens wanting to go to New Zealand. It's a great place. This makes sense. They want to find the coolest people, so they went to the coolest And New place. Zealand has less things to kill you than Australia. It's true. Yeah, so don't go to Australia. Yeah, they want to see some little kiwis, mm -hmm. little birds. I'm excited because I want to know if there's going to be more of this. There's going to be more sightings because I think this is very interesting. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a UFO. We're going to talk more about, like, stupid shit. Mm -hmm. So please subscribe and click that notification bell. I do like New Zealand. Follow us on Twitter and tweet us. I like Kiwis. Let us know if you think it was aliens or not. The fruit on the people. Please tweet me and bug me.